Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you back to Let's Play Killer7, this is episode 23. <laughs> All I've done between the last episode and this episode is left the Harmon's room and switched to Master Smith, because we're going to have to use him in a moment. Anyways, first off we need to meet the gatekeeper once again. Nothing ever changes with this gatekeeper. I don't know who's meant to be either. Just a figment of their imagination, I guess. <laughs> or at least Suda51's imagination. I'd love to know his real name, Suda51. It's funny how people get like little nicknames and stuff when the in the game business, you know. Ah, back into the club. Oh wait, let's switch on over to Con. You've seen it, you know why I'm doing it. <laughs> no need to explain it, I think. Press Y, and off we go. With the boss, dying is not an issue. Unless you have literally no idea what you're doing, you shouldn't be dying. Yeah, yeah, here's our clue. How cool! What beautiful colours. Like a hero, a fight with justice. But guess what happened next? That beautiful luster, no more. The armour crumbled. And it revealed a monster. The truth was, a monster. I can't believe they lied to me. Hold on. I'm just shut this curtain a bit more. A bit. There we go. Right, let's go in. We got the mini boss first. We've had one mini boss, the ceramic smile, but here's the proper mini boss, I guess you could say. The the Vincom Gate mini boss. Mythful smile. You'll think it looks a lot like enemies that mask can only smell, uh, kill. Smell? <laughs> that should so be a word. This is two blood. I think that's what you're meant to do anyway. Here we go. I'm not too sure how you're meant to kill him. All I know is that you use mask, use a bit of blood and he'll go down. I don't know. The only clue we got from that boy outside was that he's got armor and that's always masks for a... So that's all I know, really, about it. Look at him jogging down, as if he's like on a horse or something. <laughs> Going down steps. Okay, Travis, what do you want? Pedro siphoned capital to a foreign syndicate, but then he tried to skim a little off the top. The members of the Seattle Self Defense Force signed a pact of brotherhood in blood. Gothic metal. <laughs> Traitors are punished by death. The helium was framed by Pedro. Pedro signed Dan to launder the dirty money and had the old man take Dan out, or so the story goes. Yeah, so we're getting a bit of history about Dan, about how he was killed and things like that. It's too bright. Turn off the light. It won't hit in the dark. Turn on the spotlight. Expose it all. Pick them off. <laughs> Shoot them fast. Save me. Okay, it... His information that he gives you is a little bit awkward to listen to. It's not a good hint as such. Here we go, cutscene coming up to introduce the boss. <laughs> Such a good intro for a boss. Anyways, we need to switch to Con. I'm not sure if you 100% need to, but it's certainly the easiest way to do it. You need a fast shooter to take on a fast shooter. She goes invisible when she's in the dark, but when she's in the lights, that's when you gotta go for her. But the, the same counts for you. When you're in the light, yeah, she's gonna shoot at you. What's she do? There she is. 
See, the boy, the boy to tell you to turn off the lights, and then he tells you to turn on the lights, and it's so confusing the advice you get from him this time. It doesn't quite work, I don't think. Just... You'll know if you hit her. By that, she stops. I'm not sure if carrying on to shoot will actually do anything. In the same spotlight, I mean. I'm not too sure, but you can hit her if you're having a good round. Three times if you stand around by her. Once by there, once in the corner, and once on the next one. If you're having a good round, that is. If you're not, you're just going to be hitting her once every time, maybe. You know. Don't ever get hit by her too much. It's an easy enough boss. Come on, you. Wow, it's not hitting at all, is it? I'm sure I'm hitting her spot on as well. I wonder if it'd be easier to sort of stand in the middle and shoot it from there. Over here. Oh, that was crap aiming. I went up in the sky. <laughs> oh, wow. Yay, hit her over there. Wow. Wow. See how fast she went past then? I'm sure. Sped up. Sure. What you do? It's such a nice little surprise when you do hit. <laughs> I wonder if Kaida could do this, but I don't think she can. I think you have to use corn, otherwise you're never gonna hit her enough with just a single bullet every shot. I want to show you this. Press right to try and run. Stop messing around. <laughs> Maybe it's just me who finds that funny. <laughs> You can't run, as if to say, you can't keep up with that. Look at her. <laughs> That's probably what it does mean by it. Let me turn a bit faster. It would be so handy if we could. We used quite a lot of blood then, didn't we, with the mask, so... We've still got plenty left, though. Come on, I know it's a bit of a repetitive boss, but I still like it. I really do. Head of Education is a Japanime character. <laughs> Japanime. That's a weird term. Isn't all anime Japanese? Or is that just something I've made up in my head? No, oh, why can't we hit? I'm used to getting like one hit every time she goes around. Maybe it's because I'm trying to hit her everywhere instead of just at one spot like, like I normally do. Maybe it's because I'm aiming at the sky. <laughs> Could be that. Why did I just shoot? Sorry about that. Get back here, bitch. Reloading at the worst possible times. Uh. Gonna have to heal again. I think I think I'll move a bit. Just to get her in a straight line and maybe shoot like this, you know? Might be easier to aim. Be easier to hit her if I'm shooting from straight in front of her. It didn't work that time, but. You know. Let's reload before she starts coming here. Yay, hit her! You can't turn around very fast either, that's, a, that's something that's a little bit annoying to this boss. This episode might be a little bit longer than some others just because of this boss but you know it happens
Wait, she patience. You know, quick, 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 quick. Okay, here she comes, here she comes. How did he miss? Yeah, not me, the character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know I'm getting annoyed. Probably not very fun to listen to. <laughs> or maybe it is funny. <laughs> I don't know. Depends on how sadistic you are, I guess. Why is it never hitting though? I'm, I'm hitting her dead on. Bitch. <laughs> Let's do it from the corner again. Yeah, got her. And again. Let's heal up. Yeah, he's getting a bit too shut for my liking. It's a good job we got the stamina ring. If you didn't have that, you can always go back on the Cloudman mission. You don't have, you know, and you can go back and get some more blood and stuff as well if you really need to. If you've fallen behind a bit too much, I mean. Fortunately, we're doing okay. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, we got it. Small blood, we're starting to run low now. Like really low. What was it? Five, four files. Oh my god. How long's this been? Twelve minutes. She should be done sooner, folks. Yay! Just as I say it. Cutscene. <laughs> the way she gets on the bus so casually, as if this is an everyday thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that is part one. Oh, hold on, hold on. If you're looking to play doubles, go find someone else, alright? Do I look like a guy who wants to play doubles? Uh, 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 oh. Okay, and that is the end of part one. Um, yeah, part two will be in an entirely different environment, just like with Sunset. It's going to be a little bit different once again. Let's see if it's a cutscene first. I don't think there should be. I think it's just a save point, don't I? Yeah, okay. So, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed the whole carnival, funfair atmosphere of this assignment part. 
I know I did, is a lot different to everything else that's gone on so far, and that's why I like Killer 7, there's so much variety to the assignments. Anyways, this has been Queenie XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode when we start Encounter Part 2. And we'll see just what... What's his name? Shit. Let's check the photo. We can't. Okay, we can't pause in you. Anyway, we'll see what our target is up to next. It's going to be fun. I'll see you in a bit.